He stole it. Really, bro? Anywho, this is probably going to wrap up the video. Um, I could probably do this forever, dude. Just sit here with PhD, like, because PhD is so much fun. Whoa! Whoa! I forgot to buy PhD, didn't I? I forgot to buy PhD flopper. Am I that stupid? Black Ops 1. This is where it all started. This is where greatness started. Not gonna lie, these graphics are kind of bugging me out right now. But this is where greatness started, everybody. This is where it all. Like I was saying, Black Ops One is where the greatness started in Call of Duty Zombies, dude. I mean, World at War was chill. Don't get me wrong. We'll buy Quick Revive. All right, we we really don't want to die right now, but we'll, we'll buy Quick Revive. But Black Ops One, especially Ascension, is where it all started. Kino, great map. Definitely think it's overrated, though. It is definitely OG. Definitely think it's overrated. But Ascension, to where we get introduced new perks, just it went from the game itself. Zombies, I guess, not really the game. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Gosh, dang it. The death machine on round two will really help me a lot. But if you guys do remember correctly, the death machine in Black Ops 1, definitely not as good as the death machine in Black Ops 2. Anyway, back to our schedule. Originally scheduled program. No. Oh, look at the aim. Look at the accuracy, guys. Oh, my gosh. All right. Let's go. Like I was saying before, guys, Ascension is just like... I don't know what got into the creators, but they were like, all right, we're adding new perks. We're adding... The pack punch was already in in Kino. I was about to say pack punch, but they're at, they add new perks. They add, you know little bit of a storyline it's just they added it black and white now we got color like when i this brings me way way back and i have honestly never watched that thing do that so i feel kind of like a noob now but i never knew that the, the rocket wasn't there before where's this last zombie at bro yes from the title of the video if you guys saw it the greatest perk in zombies history was added during ascension what in the world the monkeys are already coming the space monkeys are already coming i get a free perk here if i can stop them nade 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 and nade hopefully we kill some no don't hey got a free perk though <laughs> went down but got a free perk so you know what we're gonna do we're gonna buy quick revive that was actually a play I've never seen them come on round four before. And then we're going to grab it. And we get Jug? Oh my gosh, dude. Tell me I'm not the best zombies player. Please. I'll tell you you're lying. This is honestly not good. I mean, I know it's only round five, but dude, zombies and Black Ops 1, kind of hard. Not going to lie. Just seems more like, you know, the movement speed, everything like that. It's just, oh. Oh my God. Dude, the training. Y'all saw that, right? Why do I ever doubt myself, guys? How do I ever doubt that I'm bad? You know what? I take it back, dude. Zombies is freaking the easiest game ever. Bro, are you freaking kidding me right now? You're only going to give us trash guns. Hey, the Russian dolls, baby. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Hey, something a little better. Definitely want to make sure you get headshots. Just so you get more points. This thing really has recoil on this game, too. That's bad. Well, I guess it doesn't have recoil. I guess the spread is just insane. I'm thinking I'll wait until the monkeys come again. That way I can try to get another free perk. 
Come on. So the monkeys are here. Oh shit, I thought I was at the jug area. Um, hello? Let's go, dude. Get your ass back here, stupid monkey. Let's go, we get another free perk. And we got the goat. Guys, we have got the goat. P-H-D Flopper. The whole reason why I wanted to play this map, the only reason why I wanted to play this map, really, because this map's kind of, kind of lame. To be honest, I know some of you nostalgists are gonna be like, "What? No, it's not." Yeah, I'm just... this map was so easy, dude. We're gonna go ahead and go before we die. I could have not opened up this door, and then I, all I would have had to cover is quick revive and jug again. But P H D flopper. Who remembers the first time they saw this perk and was like, "What? Nostalgia, dude." Makes my skin tingle. The place. This is where it all was, dude. This is where you would train. This is where you would use PhD. Huh. Throw out the Russian dolls, dude. And then we just train. Dude, and this is all Ascension was. You get the super high rounds. You don't really have to sprint. Because they can't hit you. Okay, they hit me, but still. The only thing was, there's no dabble pack a punch, so getting to super high rounds was a lot harder. Because eventually your gun basically does minuscule damage. Oh, I'm gonna get the monkey, or whatever it is in this map. I think it's teddy bear monkey. Just be regular monkey. Honestly, I haven't been working on pack a punch, which, you know, if I want to survive, I probably should have worked on it. Why did I accidentally do that? Y'all later. Alright, call me crazy, but I'd much rather have stamina up than um, speed cola. Call me crazy. That's a lot of points just to get the the pack punched in. We don't save zombies, dude. We just we just keep it rolling. Although if the monkeys come, dude, uh, they're going to take one of my perks. It's kind of annoying, but hey. So be it. Oh, the monkeys aren't coming yet. We'll go down here and train, because I mean it's pretty easy to train right here too. All right, let's go get the last thingy, my bob, so we can get pack punch. Forgot about mule kick being right there. Sickle, bro. The sickle. That's cool that they changed the Bowie knife. See y'all later. And there you go. Look at that. The red thing goes down. You know what? I've never seen it do that either. I feel like the last monkey's here, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to play this song and have to bleep it out or blur it out or whatever. Nice. Knew I was going to get it. So now we're doing the launch sequence. Let's go watch it go. There we go. It gets launched. Doesn't it blow up midair or is that just me? I guess that's just me. I guess it does go, right? Yep. Huh. Silly me. Wonder where the box went. I guess we'll upgrade this stupid gun, but still. Now you can double pack a punch to get different reticles, right? If I do remember correctly. Oh, it's in the starting room. We'll just go get one more gun, and then we'll, uh. I'll, you know, I feel like I haven't done enough justice to PhD Flopper. That's what this whole video was supposed to be about. How cool PhD Flopper is. Hey, Ballistic Knife. I was about to say, no way it's a one-hit kill. Oh, gosh. I gotta figure out where they all are. Way I can stop them, right? But... There's one up here, too. See, there's just no way. No taking... Yeah. Let me get there! No way I'm gonna be able to get there, right? I saved it? Dude hopped off of it. Both of the weapons I just got, though, Ballistic Knife and Crossbow upgraded, are pretty sick weapons. This upgraded acts as a symbol monkey, and then the Ballistic Knife... Wow, really? RPK and H... K or whatever. Anywho's about PhD Flopper. 
it just gave perks like everybody loves PhD Flopper. Everybody's favorite freaking perk is PhD Flopper, right? What it does is it gives you the ability to use the ray gun. The ray gun was. Everybody was like, oh, I want the ray gun, I want the ray gun. And then people would start going down. And then whenever people realized, hey, there's splash damage on this, it almost got unusable because you hit yourself once, a zombie hits you, dude, you're dead. PhD Flopper let you use the ray gun. PhD Flopper made the ray gun great again. It made the ray gun what it was supposed to be the whole time, which was like arguably the best gun in zombies, right? Not getting that. Want to get more points? No! You gotta be kidding me. I did not mean to get the nuke, bro. Okay, alright. I want a new gun. I don't want the RPK. Definitely don't want the F and Foul. Definitely don't want the G11 again. I was just about to ask if. I got the monkey again, though? Yo ho, the Gersh devices, dude. I got like three hits out of that box and then it left already. I actually have no clue where that was. I didn't really see it. I want to say. I mean, I can look up and look at the, the light. I mean, why don't I just do that? This place up here, dude, death trap. If you ever come up here in a higher round, dude, you're dead. Unless you have the thing right there already. Dude, you already know what we're trying for. Let's go, dude. Ray gun. Let's go, dude. This is exactly what I wanted. I get this. I think I am going to get it. But I'm very hesitant to. So if I die, like I said, I was hesitant to get it. But it's still good on round 16. No oh, way they come again, bro. Sounds like there's a lot of them on it. Look at that, dude. Without PhD Flopper, I wouldn't have survived. Ah! Oh my <laughs> I shouldn't have even survived, but hey, we'll take it. I wonder why he kept saying no ammo during the death machine. Like, I guess because it was running out, but I've never realized that he says that. Another reason that makes the ray gun almost unusable without PhD Flopper, dude, it's just a caller creator. You have to hit them in the legs so they hit. You have to turn them into crawlers because that's basically like a one hit. You basically just keep shooting them in their legs because it does more damage than if you shoot them in their head with with the ray gun. Is it monkeys again? No. Wow. Oh wait, it was just monkeys last round, wasn't it? There we go. There's our thumbnail. There's our thumbnail. Dude, if you guys like PhD Flopper, you guys think it's the best perk, you already know what to do. If you're new, hit the sub. If you guys have been here for a while and are like, yo, why haven't you been posting videos and stuff? Hit the like, hit the like button if you already know me, bro. Same kind of shreds. Takes some time, but it shreds. All right, yo, PhD Flopper, saving my life right here. Is there a crawler way back here that I made like 10 years ago and he's still alive? There is. Oh, two of them. Sorry, bye. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to make you guys suffer. Didn't mean to make him suffer. P-H-D flippy floppy, dude. Who freaking loves it? Oh, gosh. Alright. I, I would really like to know where they always land. You can see them, where they land. Dude, I'm still a zombie's noob, I guess. I was going to say I might be able to stop them, but then I realized I was all the way over by Speed Cola and not by any of my perks. I guess I was kind of over by... Did I stop them? Stamina up. PhD, brother. Bro, I had one monkey left and I could have gotten five perks, dude. Dang.
He stole it. Really, bro? Anywho, this is probably going to wrap up the video. Um, I could probably do this forever, dude. Just sit here with PhD, like, because PhD is so much fun. Whoa! Whoa! I forgot to buy PhD, didn't I? I forgot to buy PhD flopper. Am I that stupid? Dude. I literally forgot to buy PhD Flopper, didn't I? That's crazy. I was too busy shooting the monkey around that I forgot to buy PhD Flopper. I can't believe I just did that. That's hilarious, bro. I mean... I guess that's what the monkeys do, man. They steal your perks and they make you forget that they steal them. Well, let's see how long I can survive with just PhD up here, dude. And Black Ops 1, all it takes is two hits. Wow, we're getting fire stuff like crazy now. All it takes is two hits and I go down. There's no red screen. There's no three hit, you know? Way of the monkeys, dude. Let me know if you guys like the voiceover better or if you guys like uh, the face cam. If you guys want me to use the face cam in my videos. Oh my gosh, bro. See? Black Ops Zombie at the bottom left there. 611 kills, 219 headshots, survived 23 rounds because, uh, you know, the monkeys took my PhD and then I kind of scrubbed up. But anyway, like I was saying, dude, uh, I want to be posting more zombies videos. I love zombies. I don't know why I tried to get out of the zombies community. Not get out. Let me rephrase this. Not get out. But, you know, kind of drift away from zombies. I thought I could do more than zombies, but... I'm right back where I started, dude, zombies, so. Like I said, sub, like, see y'all in the next zombies video.